On a cold winter's night, Ralph found a cat on his doorstep begging to come inside. He didn't know what their encounter would lead to, but he soon found out that the cat had a beautiful surprise in store for its rescuer. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. As Ralph got up to make himself a nice cup of hot chocolate during the ad break, the last thing he expected to encounter was someone waiting on his porch. It was a cold night, with an icy wind howling outside, and a weather prediction for snow to fall in the early hours of the morning. But as he passed the front door, he saw a cat sitting there, its nose pressed right up to the glass, and its mouth articulating a soundless meow. The moment the cat caught sight of him, it lifted one of its fluffy white front legs and pawed the glass as if to say, Hello, can you please let me in? Ralph walked up to the door and the cat rose at once. It was almost as if the opening of the door was a foregone conclusion, as if there was no chance in the world that this human could deny his help in the face of such firm conviction. Ralph felt compelled to comply. He unlatched the lock, and as he opened the door, the cat quickly squeezed in through the gap. A gust of icy wind came in with her, and Ralph instantly felt sympathy for her predicament. How long had she been waiting there? As soon as she was inside, he closed the door. Although the cat was mostly dry, her coat was covered with icy droplets. She shook herself and some of it splattered over the carpet. Up close, Ralph could see that she was quite a beauty with a fluffy white and tabby coat and a gorgeous plume of a tail. She also looked reasonably well fed, definitely not the sort of kitty you would expect to see outside on a chilly winter's night like this. Ralph went to the kitchen to make his hot chocolate and heated some extra milk for the cat. This he poured into a small bowl and brought it back to the hallway. After only a moment's hesitation, she began to lap it up. When she was done, she followed him to the kitchen. She walked slowly and paused often to sniff each corner and inspect each gap. Ralph stroked her soft fur, and she responded by purring loudly and rubbing herself against his leg. She was obviously trying to make friends. Don't worry about the cold, Ralph reassured her. You're welcome to stay the night, or however long you need. The words had barely left his mouth when he realized he actually meant them. He was fully prepared to host that cat for days or even weeks. This would be the first time in his life he would spend time with a pet that didn't belong to a friend or relative. As a child, he had loved dogs and desperately wanted a puppy for his birthday. But because he grew up in a high-rise apartment block, that was impossible, so he had to contend with playing with his friend's dogs. After two years in the military, his first civilian job involved a lot of traveling. He visited many interesting places and enjoyed the regular change of scenery, but it prevented him from rushing to a shelter and finally getting the pet he had always wanted. That's why he eventually decided to change jobs, settle down, and get a home of his own. The first bit took the better part of a year, and finding a place where he felt at home was no easier. That's why, in a way, he envied the cat. As the cat finished the milk, Ralph gave her a plate of leftover chicken, but she did not appear to be hungry and just picked at it. After that, he returned to his sports game. Even if his attention was now elsewhere, looking up from his hot chocolate, he noticed the cat peeking into the living room. She greeted him with a cheerful meow and gazed at the huge television screen in amusement. Ralph lowered the sound, hoping that she would join him, but the excitement of football obviously held no great appeal to her because she did not stay in the room longer than a few moments. Minutes later, he heard a plaintive meow in the hallway and abandoned the game entirely to check on his new feline houseguest. The cat made a detailed inspection of all of the rooms. The bedrooms were of particular interest to her, and she spent some time kneading the comforter of Ralph's own bed. She also jumped on several of the chairs and up on a windowsill, where she watched the snowflakes gently drifting from the sky. In the guest bedroom, she let out another plaintive meow in front of the wardrobe doors. Ralph unlocked them, and the cat stepped inside without hesitation. She soon began to knead a folded blanket that lay on the bottom shelf. Her purring was so loud that it resounded off the wooden interior. Ralph watched her work and laughed. He had limited experience with cats, but it looked like this one was making herself at home. 
He felt weirdly proud that she felt safe in his house and decided that a few scratches on a blanket were not a steep price to pay for some company. The cat spent the entire evening in Ralph's guest room. She was peaceful and friendly towards her new host, purring whenever she saw him. She wanted no more food, but did help herself to the water dish Ralph left her after checking on her one last time. Ralph went off to bed. The next morning, he got to work trying to determine whether she belonged to any of his neighbors. He took two photos and showed them around, but nobody in the neighborhood knew the cat or had seen her before. Ralph checked bulletin boards for missing cat posts, but found no description that matched the cat who had now settled herself into his guest room. He left messages on neighborhood groups and on social media, but there was no response. A few people suggested checking the cat into an animal shelter, but Ralph could not bring himself to send her away. It was obvious that she had trusted him right from the first moment. Resigned that the cat would be spending a second night under his roof, Ralph went shopping for cat supplies. He got a litter tray, as well as some cat food and a large cat bed. The cat did not want to eat anything, but she loved the new bed, and once Ralph added her favorite blanket from the wardrobe, it was just perfect. Her lack of appetite worried him. She also felt cold to the touch, and Ralph wondered whether perhaps she had picked up a bug while she was outside. He brought an extra blanket and a heat pad to the cat bed. She gratefully needed her bed, but she remained restless. Ralph checked on her frequently, and each time she purred loudly. He guessed that she would have scratched him, or at the very least hissed at him, if she was truly in discomfort, and decided that he wouldn't insist on her eating. Perhaps she was just adjusting. Towards evening, there was more snowfall. The cat was still restless, but Ralph made sure that the room was warm and cozy before going to bed. The next morning, he woke up to a huge surprise. As he entered the guest room, he was greeted by a soft choir of tiny feline voices. The cat was resting in her soft new bed, but she was not alone. Overnight, she had given birth to three adorable kittens. That's when he realized she wasn't well fed, but just swollen due to her pregnancy. And that meant she was probably a stray. Yet she looked so proud of her job, and Ralph also felt his heart swell with love for all of them. After a few days, he bundled his newborn feline family into a pet carrier and took them all to the nearest veterinary clinic. Everyone was given a clean bill of health, and he immediately made appointments for their first vaccinations. By now, the very idea of not keeping them was unthinkable. And when a month passed without anyone trying to claim either mother or babies, he realized that he had literally become their official owner overnight. As the kittens grew larger and began to play with each other, Ralph bought them plenty of toys. The mother cat became his fiercely protective best friend, and as a responsible pet owner, he arranged for her to be sterilized. With a family of four cats, all of whom adored him, Ralph felt that his residence had finally been transformed into the cozy home he had always dreamed of. Have you ever let a strange cat or any other animal into your home out of compassion? Let us know what happened in the comments below. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.